hi guys what's up welcome back to my channel guys hey, I am super duper excited for this video you guys have absolutely no idea this has been a long time coming you guys know that I have been taking your recommendations into consideration hey did you see my rhymes there recommendations into consideration hey <laughs> but anyway guys I am definitely leaving my comfort zone now this is going to be the very first episode of many more episodes of this the what's new series here on my channel and on this series I am just going to be talking about trending topics what's new in the industry what's new in the entertainment industry what's new in Nollywood what's new in Hollywood what's new in reality TV what's new in celebrity gist what's new what's new on social media what's new everywhere I have been pushing this for the longest time but guys I am finally ready to leave my comfort zone and talk about trending topics okay now don't get me wrong I am not turning my channel into a reaction channel no I'm not doing that this particular series is going to be maybe once a week or once in two weeks so do not worry it will not take over my regular content my vlogs and sit down videos this is going to be an addition to my channel all right so if you are excited for what's new with Alma let me know in the comment section below leave me a heart in the comment section and I will know that you watched this part of the video now guys we have plenty we have a lot to talk about Let's get right into this video. Alright, so first and foremost, let's dive right into the gist. And we're starting off with the most trending topic right now on Twitter, everywhere, literally on Nigerian social media space. And there's the fact that Big Brother Niger season 7 started yesterday, alright? Yesterday being Saturday. Um, I do know that the first 12 housemates got into the house yesterday, Saturday evening, and the remaining 12 will come in this evening, Sunday evening. But I have a few things to say about this season of Big Brother Nigeria. Obviously, the show started with so much pomp and pageantry as usual. Ebuka did his thing, obviously, as the host. Amazing. I always buff my heart for that guy. He knows his job. Like, he definitely knows his job. And he always, always makes fashion statements. The housemates that came in yesterday great many of them very good looking many of them you know excited to be there um i do know that there's a beauty queen amongst them uh the former miss nigeria i think she only handed over in december of 2021 so she is a former miss nigeria i do know that there are one or two people there i'm pretty excited for amaka i feel like she has a lot to bring um well she looks promising i can't really say i don't know her personally but i feel like um she has potential and i'm looking forward to seeing what she gives to us on this show because you guys know that last year's big brother was just mm, it was just mm, mm. it wasn't it wasn't giving last year so my fingers are crossed that this year we would have more drama this year we would have more entertainment this year we would have a lot less housemates just sleeping away all of their time and I'm hoping for the best. Amaka is on my watch list. Kesena, aka Kes, the guy who is married, is also on my watch list because I'm not like Oga, you are, you are, you are married. And you're not fine like this, and you're not capable of Nigeria. It's like they have not told you what's up. It's like they have not informed you. Don't get me wrong, guys. I don't have a problem with people who are married going for Big Brother Nigeria. Me personally, I once wanted to audition for this show, and my hobby was going to support me 110%. I don't have a problem at all. Like, in fact, the more married people that we have, the better okay um but i feel like if you're married and you're going for a show like this you have to be able to comport yourself eh one person i would always make reference to is mike all right mike from mercy set or something mike was married in fact mike was initially married for one month when he got into big brother house but the way that guy comported himself throughout that show made him get to the finals even though he was married he mingled with everybody he was everybody's friend but he never like feel endeared with women he never um put his marriage on the line and he was always very conscious but at the same time being a very interesting personality so the fact that you're married does not mean that when you get to here you should not sit down on your own no you have to be able to mingle but at the same time know where to draw the line that's it so i hope that kes has been informed about this because in Nigeria, if you are married and you go into the house and you mess up and mess yourself up, the whole Nigeria is gonna drag you like Tiger Generator. That's exactly what happened. So I hope that while he's intending to have a lot of fun, he also knows where to draw the line and still be interesting. You guys get what I mean? One or two other housemates, Fina, 
Khalid. Um, let me see who else have I really taken note of Danielle or Daniela I'm not sure what her name is but it's still too early to tell we still have 12 more housemates coming into the house today I'm excited for that and um, we will see how that goes okay now aside the housemates guys aside the housemates I have been very very underwhelmed with the Big Brother house this year I'm not sure what happened or what went wrong I do know that almost every year they changed their headline sponsors. This year, the headline sponsor is Pocket by Piggy Vest and also Flutter Wave. But something is a bit off with the house this year. The decor is so off. Initially, I thought, to be honest, that the whole of that decor was just a lounging waiting area. I had absolutely no idea that that was the actual house. Because one, the house looks so small. I'm not sure what happened this year. I can bet you that it's not the same house as last year or maybe the house has been divided into two i'm not sure what they're trying to do this year but the house looks very very small there's no closet room you can see that the wardrobes and the closets are all in the bedrooms um the storeroom looks pretty 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 tiny the lounging area looks very small the interior decor did not even help i feel like what on earth are you doing using navy blue as a color for the walls of the house then you enter bedroom the color of the wall is green purple why why last year's decor was exquisite was beautiful the year before was nice the year before that was great so why what happened this year whoever did that interior should just be fired because i'm not sure what vibe they are going for but that house looks very underwhelming. It's only making you as a viewer not being able to see the housemates' faces properly. The lighting is very, very poor. The couch in that lounge, I'm not sure what in the Lego land is going on on that couch, but that couch looks, I don't know. It just looks, it's just too much. There's just too much going on and the space looks incredibly small. For some reason, I haven't seen a garden. They usually would have like a garden in the house. I have not seen garden. I have not seen all of those things that make the Big Brother house what it is. The big space that we were used to, all of a sudden it looks like this. And it looks like I'm watching something from the 80s or from the 90s. I'm not sure what's going on, but let's hope that things are going to get better let's hope that it's going to be maybe two different houses let's hope that is what is going on because if this is going to be the house to house 24 people i don't know how that's going to fly this year but let's keep watching so yeah moving on from big brother jace to rather sad news that we got on social media um roughly about a week ago was the death the very sudden death of ada ame and i remember very well when i was just going through my phone i was doing something that afternoon i had not opened my phone or my instagram in the last couple of hours and once i do that i see her face that her face was the very first thing i saw i think that was on linda ikeji's blog or insta blog niger or something and immediately i saw her face i was like god no god no god no as i scrolled there was a caption saying that she had died and i'm just like what what is happening what is going on this death was too sudden but at the same time this woman had been through so much this woman had been through a lot in the last two years ever since she lost her daughter her only child and the way that woman grieved her daughter's death i knew deep down in my spirit that she may never ever be able to overcome that grief i didn't know it would lead to her passing away in literally less than two years i didn't know that but I knew that she took it very hard and I knew she was battling mental health issues. She came up, you know, some time ago to say she was battling some mental health issues and there was a company who was suing her for a job undone and so many other things. I just said a prayer for her, hoping that things would get better. And she seemed to be in very high spirits recently. The fact that she was somewhere and she just slumped is just very mind-boggling and very, very sad. Um, I feel like the most sudden and annoying type of deaths when you hear them are those that are very, very sudden. Like those ones that just happen, the person is fine today. Heck, she posted at 12, 12 noon on that day when she passed. And people were like, what is going on? Um, the rate at which people are slumping or dying in their sleep has literally increased these days. I'm not sure what is going on. I do have a family friend who passed um, less than two weeks ago, he died in his sleep. I have a classmate in secondary school who slumped 
in the US just last week and died and I'm just like this issue of slumping dying in the sleep I don't know what is going on but I feel like people are carrying so much weight that is not showing on their faces you know so be kind to somebody out there guys be kind to people out there you never know what people are going through even those who don't even come out to say anything be kind because you do not know what people are going through and I really really pray that Ada Ameso rests in peace I have met her once before many many years ago at a family friend's house and it's so sad that she's no more really it is really really sad also um, with celebrity deaths um, we also lost a Nigerian Nollywood star she was one of the stars in the Fuji House of Commotion series if you guys were watching that growing up I think she was the character Iriti and I particularly loved her character a lot because she was so funny I think she was a third wife in that series and I really was shocked to hear that she actually passed the very very same day that Ada Ame passed that was really shocking um I believe she was way older than Ada Ame Ada Ame was only 48 years old but I feel like this other lady was way older and um I'm sure she was ill I think she was ill or something may her soul also rest in peace like Omo the deaths Omo like I'm just like now moving to more joyous news um Davido's uncle won the Austria state elections that was pretty interesting to see knowing fully well that there was an episode that happened some time ago where he was supposed to have won an election and he was robbed of it I think that's what happened I didn't really follow like that but I feel like that's what happened and it was super exciting to see him win an election fair and square but what was most exciting for me to see was the kind of support that David O was giving this man like that boy has a heart of gold his heart is so pure and so beautiful, especially to those that are close to him and those that mean a lot to him. So that was very nice. That was very beautiful to see. I watched the video where they were awaiting the results, even when they had called all of the results and obviously his uncle had a higher number of voters than everybody else. Um, it was just really exciting to see that kind of excitement and knowing fully well all of the support that went into this man winning this election. That was really nice to see and that was one of our trending topics this week so congratulations to david o's uncle and i hope you have an amazing tenure and i hope that you do well for the people of Osho state next up and going into foreign news jennifer lopez and ben affleck have gotten married now if you don't know what i'm talking about jennifer lopez and ben affleck used to date back uh, 20 years ago in fact they were once engaged but broke off the engagement before the wedding could take place and 20 years after they got back together rekindled their relationship got engaged again and are now married i only have one or two things to say about this number one auntie jennifer please i hope this is the last bus stop for you i hope this is your last bus stop because she's been known to be a serial manager a serial wife slash serial fiance um, I really, really hope that this is the last straw for her and this is her last bus stop. I really, really pray because <laughs> Jennifer Lopez has been able to get more rings than many of us, like, than many people that I know, than many ladies that I know. Ben Affleck has been known. There have been news that he'd been having one or two issues. You guys know he got separated from his former wife, Jennifer Garner, who is also an actress. They have three children and um, I heard he had some alcohol problems. So I hope that... I hope Jennifer is ready so that by the time of this lovey-dovey drama have finished, she will still be able to sit down and stay in a marriage. That's all I'm saying. She also had a very public engagement with Alex Rodriguez, I think. And, you know, the entire internet was rooting for them so bad, like so bad. And it was shocking to hear that that didn't end up in marriage. So I'm hoping and keeping my fingers crossed for her and Ben and hoping that this marriage lasts and stands till the end of time, till death do them part. That is my hope for them. Congratulations to Jennifer and Ben Affleck because I hear that she has taken his name. She's now Jennifer Affleck. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, rooting for you, honey, and hoping that this is the last boat. Congratulations again. Next up, back into Nigerian celebrity gist. Shay Shay recently unveiled uh, her baby, her new baby. Now, if you don't know, Shay Shay has been pregnant for a while and she just gave birth to 
a beautiful beautiful baby and when i saw that photograph i'm just like oh my god so damn precious and so damn cute she hasn't still come out to say who the father of her baby is not that i think it's anybody's business it's not anybody's business to be honest if she wants to keep that part private that is all up to her she can do her she's happy and that's all that matters she's a mom and um, i'm really really happy for her congratulations shay shay also on more exciting news messi ching Wo recently did her marriage introduction now if you don't know who that is messi ching Wo is a nigerian gospel musician and she recently got engaged to a nigerian pastor and they have gone ahead to do their marriage introduction. Very, very exciting. I'm super happy for her. I saw pictures of her introduction and I'm just like, is that Messi Chimu? Like, is that Messi Chimu? Because she was looking so beautiful. She was looking so young. I'm sorry to say, but sometimes the way she dresses makes her look a lot more older than her age. So I was very excited to see her looking pang, looking cute, looking like her actual age, looking young and beautiful. That was very lovely to see. So congratulations to Messi Chimo on her introduction. And we are waiting patiently for her wedding photographs very, very soon. Still on Marriage Talk, one of your favorite Nigerian comedians, in the person of La Sisi Elenu is about to get married. I saw that on social media two days ago and I was like, what? What even makes this entire gist sweeter is that he's getting married to his co-star on, um, I think there's a, there's a series he does on YouTube called Mama and Papa God's Power, something like that. His wife in that series, in that skit, is his real wife to be and that's very exciting because i used to watch tinsel on african magic a while ago and she played the part of buchi on tinsel i was super excited to see that the two of them are actually getting married in real life it's almost giving us like ihuamai joffo and ibrahim suleiman's vibe as they were all co-stars on tinsel and got married in real life they were lovers on tinsel got married in real life and it's exciting to see that that is happening with lassisi super happy for him it's one of my favorite comedians on instagram i enjoy watching his kids and i'm happy for himself and his new bride to be low-key waiting for wedding pictures low-key waiting so i can be feeling lovey-dovey you get me but yeah congratulations to lassisi and his new boo and our very 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 last gist for today is that p square has just released a new track you guys would know that p square has been off the radar for a very long time there was a lot of fighting between them even though up until today i still don't understand how twins can fight for that long I don't understand it till today. I don't understand how twins that share the same womb at the same time can fight for that long. It doesn't make sense to me. But I'm super, super happy that they have reconciled. They are one of my favorite Nigerian groups of all time. Their music is always so evergreen and so fresh. And they dropped a new track about two days ago, I mean yesterday, called Jaye. And I've been vibing i've been screaming i have watched the video on youtube more than 100 times i love 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 that song it's a beautiful way of coming back um they reconciled a while ago but they haven't been able to put out a new single so far most time they've been having shows and stuff they've been doing mostly their old tracks which i'm not mad at but at the same time a new track had been craved for so long by their fans and i'm super happy that they brought out something so nice i absolutely love 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 the track i love the video it's so nice i watched that video yesterday and i had goosebumps the goosebumps i had was because i'm like wow finally you guys are a force when you are together you guys don't even understand the kind of force that you carry when you are together as a group and i just completely enjoyed watching that video and i'm hoping that they release more tracks very soon release more videos and just keep being the peace that we've always known and we have always loved all right so that's all i have for you guys in this episode of what's new if you guys have any topics or any trends topics or gist you want me to talk about on the next what's new episode let me know in the comments or send me a dm on instagram or shoot me an email and i'll be glad to do that hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i'll see you guys in my next one Bye.